what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we are rocking with an off meta team that features choice scarf gabachula and Gallade. you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button to join the jeans community it really goes a long way so i give a huge shout out to everybody supporting me as a content creator but before we get started with today's team preview i want to give a huge shout out to the creator my boy joshua thank you so much for leaving this team in my twitter dms you rock cannot wait to use this team and rock out and get some wins with it but uh if you guys want to leave me some rental codes head down the link in the description below to my twitter gene youtube over on twitter dm me tweet at me either or works i'll definitely get back to you guys and try to use as many fans teams as i could but uh, let's get started here in that top left corner with Azumarill. Azumarill, we actually just featured in a recent video, and it's such a good Pokemon all around. This one has huge power alongside with that Assault Vest, and then it's got a great move set of Play Rough, Liquidation, both for Stab, and then two coverage moves with Ice Punch and Dig. Next Pokemon is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex, one of the best restricted mods in the game at the moment. As one ability, alongside with Focus Ash, and then we got Astro Barrage for Stab, Pile and Puff for Coverage, and, heal, and to heal up ally Pokemon. Then we got Speed Swap to hand off our speed to other Pokemon, and then Protect for our fourth and final move. Middle left is going to be Gallade over here, and Gallade is kind of just here for support. I really do like this moveset for him, and cannot wait to pair him up with this Soul Galeo. It's got Justified as its ability, alongside with the Cassie Berry, so it can actually eat up a shot a little bit better. It's got Shadow Sneak to proc weakness policy on, on Sogaleo. Then it has Coaching to actually boost attack and defense of any ally Pokemon we want. We also have Trick Room to counter Trick Room or set it up ourselves, and then Wide Guard to protect ally Pokemon from double hitting moves. So, like I said, a nice little support glade, and I feel like pairing it up with the Sogaleo can really get some work done. So I cannot wait to use that and show off that combo. Fourth Pokemon on squad is Galvantula over here. One of my favorite bug types of all time. Bug and electric, I just think it's super cool. It's got the compound eyes for its ability alongside with the Chewy Scarf. And then it's got Struggle Bug for stab, Volt Switch for pivoting, and then it's got String Stop for, for speed control, and Screech for defensive drop. So, can be paired up with Soul Galeo, just to get the defense drop and kind of just like make my Pokemon do a bit more damage. Bottom left is going to be Sableye over here with the Prankster and the Eject Button. This Pokemon's always good. It's got Shadow Sneak for first turn priority. It's got Quash and Quash is just amazing all around. And then it's got Trick to actually hand off the Eject Button and will o -Wisp to burn physical attackers. So great little support mod, Sableye. You can never go wrong with it. Final Pokemon is going to be Solgaleo over here. It's such a good Pokemon. Really great physical attacker. And it's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for this team. Because like I said, we have a few Pokemon that don't really like do that much damage but then we have the other three pokemon that really do a lot of damage and uh so Gale is one of those guys it's got full metal body alongside with the weakness policy and then a great move set of sun seal strike wild charge eq and trick room guys if you want to try this team for yourself let the code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop on that rank like double ladder let's get some wins with this Gallade and galvantula team Hopping into battle number one, and we're going up against a pretty strong team. He's got a Kieran White team with Zacian, Incineroar, Rolboom, Urshfu, and Suicune for a nice little Tailwind speed control. But look at this dude's name. It's Yoshi. Hopefully it's the real Yoshi. Probably not, but, you know, we can always imagine and hope for the best. But uh, how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I feel like a lane Sol Solgaleo could really pop off here. I just think that's a solid turn all around. We can proc weakness policy, and we can really get after it. So let's do it. Let's do it. We do have full metal body as well, which could work really, really well. Because, you know, he has Intimidate on Incineroar and then Intimidate won't affect us. So, I just like that combo. I just think it's a great setup. Gotta bring Shadow Rider Kalex. Always good all around. And then, last but not least, I'm thinking of just bringing Azumarill. Get a bit more of attacking on the on the, uh, on the the squad. Yeah, I'm with it all day. Can't go wrong with Azumarill, especially with that Assault Vest. But, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But, before the battle starts, you guys gotta know. You gotta let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What is your top three favorite bug type Pokemon? Since we're using one of my top three bugs, I want to know you guys' answers in the comment section down below because I feel like there's so many different cool bug types that you can use and a lot of them don't get the love that they deserve because the typing is not that good overall. He's going to end up going Suicune alongside with Kiram right here. So he could protect the Kiram. Um, and then pop a Tailwind, take Speed Control. I think he's going to Tailwind regardless with that uh, with that Suicune. But I'm thinking of just proc and policy and getting after it. Or I could pop a Trick Room. I could indeed pop a Trick Room. I'm thinking of doing, and then just die to maxing. And maybe just max lightning. Or I could just take out the Suicune. But Suicune is probably faster. I'm gonna let him pop the Tailwind, and then we're just gonna pop Trick Room and roll from there. All right, what's your speed at? What's your speed? 105. Yeah, let's pop the Trick Room. We don't have Protect, but I still might Dynamax here. And just go for a Steel Shot. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna go for a Steel Shot, and we're just gonna pop a Trick Room because he's gotta be going for Tailwind, right? He has got to be going for Tailwind. No doubt in my mind. 
He might take out my Glade, which could do us a little dirty, but still. I'll take a Dynamax with my uh, Solgaleo and try to pop off this Trickroom. That could be so good. That could be so good. Because if I can pop off this Trickroom, then I can just straight up Shadow Sneak right into my Sol Solgaleo proc policy and just roll out the battle from there. I kind of do dig this turn. I kind of do dig this turn as long as my boy Gallade can eat up a shot. I feel like he should have the Focus Ash, but it'd be like that sometimes. You gotta give the Shadow Rider Caddox. It's just too too good with the Focus Ash. So, we're gonna see Dynamax from both sides of the field, and then my Gallade better get off this trigger. Let's go, Gallade. So, I'm hoping Kirim just goes after uh, So Galeo here. So, Tailwind is gonna poke Iger. We need this trigger. Can we get this trigger? Can we pull this off? Can we pull this off? He's gonna end up going for a Steel Spike into probably Gallade here. Can you eat that up? You can, yo. That's a solid turn for us. I love it all day. So he's going to take a defense boost. That's totally fine by me. I don't really care. And we're going to take a defense boost too. But more importantly, my Glade was able to survive that shot. And we're going to pop Trick Room right after he popped the Tailwind. So that works perfectly for us. So we pop this, get off some nice damage, and we're loving it. So I can actually take out the Kiram next turn if I want to. But I'm going to target down that Suicune because I think he's going to protect. I think he has a chance to max Garden here. So I'd rather just uh, max Lightning into the Suicune slot and get rid of it. Look at that. Beautiful. Trick Room out and about. So great read by us, predicting the uh, Tailwind, and then being able to get that off. So from here, let's do it. Let's proc Policy, and I'm just going to Max Lightning here. I'm just going to pop a nice, lovely Max Lightning, because after the Policy's proc, it should be able to just dump on the Suicune. And again, I do think Kira might even... Uh, oh, he hard swaps you. Wow, who are you going to go into? Who are you going into? I'm going to Urshifu here. And he's going to guard. Okay, I don't mind that turn one bit. I do not mind that turn, because we're targeting that Urshifu down. See, I predicted the guard too, which is huge, which is really big. And now if this thing is focus ash, we have shadow sneak. Love it. I love it. I love it. Lightning's going to fly here. Take him out. Bring him down to sash at least. Love it. Love it. That's plenty. I don't even think that's focus ash. It just lived on like two. But still, that's enough for shadow sneak to take out. And you know, we can just get after his big one. That's huge. That's a great play by us. All right. So let's shadow sneak right into you to finish you off and then just send a max, uh, Seal Spike right over in this slot. What plays by it? Way to get this video started right now. Shadow Sneak's gonna come out here. We're gonna say bye bye to Urshfu. I'm not really too worried about Suicune because Suicune's not one of those Pokemon that can do a ridiculous amount of damage. I'm gonna be worried about this next Pokemon, which is probably gonna be this Assassin. But we are plus two on the defense board, which is enormous. We're gonna say bye bye to Kieran because our, weak our weakness policy is now proc. And dude, we are cooking. We are cooking. What a first battle from your boy, dude. What a first battle from your boy. We were just making all the plays. We were making all the plays. The Shadow Sneaks, the Read on the Tailwind, the Trick Room. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. What a way to get this video started. What a way to get this video started. He's going to bring out Suicune. I mean, we have speed, and he's probably going to be uh, Zassy. And I can read Zassy and protect all day. I might just coach up onto my... Uh, I might just coach up onto... Uh, I don't know what's called here. I might just coach up into uh, Solgaleo here. That scene's gonna come out of here. We still have Shadow Rider Calyx pretty much to deal with that. I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. I'm with it all day. Let me see speeds. I mean, they're still in Tailwind, aren't they? And Glade should be slower. I don't know. Is it gonna be slower? Let's see. I would think they would build it like that. No, it's not slower. That's a little tough. It's faster, but in this case, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna work. I was gonna coach him up and get after it, but uh, what can I do here? Hmm. What can I do here? Trick Room has two turns left. Tailwind has one. Um, and I could go for a coach. Might as well go for it, right? Then I could just EQ across the board. EQ wouldn't be bad. I think I just wild charge and get rid of us. Uh, Does Asium might protect? Last turn Trick Room? Oh no, he just canceled the battle. Take that all day. We will take that all day. Let's keep it rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep the high intensity with this gameplay rolling. We dominated battle number one. We're hopping into our second battle, but we're going up against a really strong Yabelta and Groudon team. Seen this team multiple times on the ladder. It is just great all around. He has the Venusaur to pair with the Groudon, then he has the Incineroar, Regilecki, and Bronzong, who was one of those Pokemon who was just like low key good. You know, it can just do a lot of work. It can Trick Room, it can boost defense and just gyro ball out. It's kind of like a Ferrothorn. It's like a Trick Room or Ferrothorn. That's how I see it. But how should I play this one? Do I lead the same combo? Because that combo is pretty good. But I kind of want to uh, get this guy going in here. A little bit of Galvantula action. I do like him with the Choice Scarf. Like, he cooks. And he's shiny. He's looking beautiful. He is looking beautiful. So uh, I think I'm just leading Galvantula. See what I can do with him. So let's go Galvantula. I might go Shadow Rider Calyx with that as well. That's not a bad turn for us. Let's do both of them. Uh, so Galeo and then last but not least, Azumarill on the back end. 
I am with it. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's go back to back. But yo, your boy had an eventful weekend. Real eventful weekend. I'll go over it all with you guys. Friday, I forget what I did during the day. I think I just like did my normal stuff. I streamed, all that good stuff. And yo, speaking of streams, your boy's back streaming three plus days every single week. Every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday. Head down the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. But yeah, Friday, I went, did my stuff out and about. Went out to the bar that night. God, I got a little, a little too messy. Not gonna lie, it was a rough night for me. But then I woke up early in the morning, went to the links, went golfing, went golfing with the boys, had myself a good time, went back out at night, all that good stuff. And then I had to wake up early. I had my first hockey game for my summer league, so that went well. The boys and the team pulled it through, and uh, we won that game. So, yeah, very eventful weekend. But I had a good time. Like I said, golf, chill with some good friends, got some content out for you guys. And then I uh, hit up hit up the hockey rink early in the morning. It's a good time. It is a good time. But uh, he's going to lead Bronzong and Incineroar. I'm going to lead both of these guys. I mean, he could pop a Trick Room. It's definitely a possibility, but I might just Volt Switch out here. Might just Volt Switch out. Right? Could be my play. Volt Switch, and then I could just Astro Barrage. Why not? Best bet. So, let's just Astro Barrage. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. He's just going to protect the Bronzong. That's totally fine. What are you doing with Incineroar? That's a real question. Volt Switch can come out here from Galvantula. We'll do that, and I'm going to dip back. I'm going to dip back in. Who should I go into? Who should I go into? I'm going to Azumarill. I kind of like Azumarill here. I kind of like Azumarill. Because if he, he is going for, say, a uh, a Snarl or even a Flare Blitz, Azumarill can just soak it up. But I think he's going to go into, like, a throw Shop or something. Or even a Parting Shot into my uh, into my Calyrex. But, yo, Shiny Azumarill is looking gorgeous. Look at that Pokemon. Look at that Pokemon. I love it. I love it. So that's going to poke out here. It's going to chip up a little bit of damage onto the Incineroar, but let's see what Incineroar is going for. A throw chop. That's fine. We have Focus Ash. I really do dig that turn. I really do dig that turn. I love that turn. It's a lovely little turn. So he might actually hard swap. Uh, he might hard swap the what's it called. He might hard swap the Bronze on, which is definitely an option. And in this case, I'm just going to pop a Liquidation, and I am just going to protect you. I could actually speed swap, but I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to protect, because I think he stays in here and swaps the uh, Bronzong, and he keeps Incineroar taking out my Calyrex, right? Makes a lot of sense. So if I can just, like, read the Protect and get after it. Oh, no, he withdraws that thing. Wow. Wow, I could just pop an Astro Barrage. That's a surprise. Liquidation going to come out here. That is a surprise. That is such a surprise. It might Dynamax, uh, might Dynamax the Zoom around, give it speed. He does withdraw that, too. So, wow, double swap comes out here. Venusaur's probably poking. Oh, no, you belts it. I might speed swap into Azumarill this next turn. I might do it. I'm thinking about it. I am definitely thinking about it. I think definitely has Sucker Punch, so... I'm cool with that. So Liquidation's gonna fly through. We do have a Soul Fest, and that's chipping up some nice damage. Okay. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with the speed swap at this point. Go here, Starfall, right into you to finish you off, and then, uh... Speed swap? I'm liking that, because I think Sucker Punch is gonna fly through here, right? I think it's going to fly through. So if I can just grant this speed over onto the Azumarill for the rest of the battle, I can really dig it. I can really get down with it. So he's going to Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax. Let's get after it. Is he Dynamaxing the Groudon? I'm curious. I am very curious. Let's see. It's going to be Yavelto. So Sucker Punch is not coming out. Sucker Punch is not flying. It's not flying. All right, let's get it. Let's get it, Azumarill. Yo, could you imagine if Azumarill can one-tap this thing? I doubt it can. It does have huge power. It's going to do a huge chunk of damage, but I don't think it's going to be able to one-tap it. The Dynamax coming from both ends. You guys know the deal. But this time, we have gold. What is it? Mouse? It's a mouse, right? But it looks like a rabbit. <laughs> it looks like a rabbit. I love this shiny so much. I think it's definitely one of the better shinies in uh, in Pokemon history. So we're going to end up giving the speed over to Azumarill. Let's get cooking with that, and we're going to be able to drop a nice, lovely Max Star Ball, because now we are fastest on the field. So huge power max starfall. How much damage are we doing? Like I said, big damage, but not enough to KO. I'll take that all day. I will take that all day. And we get this lovely terrain out here. We get this lovely terrain. Let's see. So he's just gonna drop a blades and double into my Azumarill. That might be a play. Azumarill soaks. Lovely soul fest. We love that. And I've got some blades gonna come out here. I had to guess blades are gonna fly out here. A little bit of blades action. Yeah, blades connects on both. Zoomrail soaks up. Okay, so from here, who should I go into? I could go into Galvantula. Because Galvantula just might be able to outspeed, right? I'm thinking he can. I'm thinking he can. Galvantula's gonna come out here. I could, uh. 
Do I target down the Yvelta? Yvelta might max guard here. I kind of just want to get after you. And then a string shot. I can bolt switch out. Bolt switch might be able to pick up the I got a choice here, though. That's my problem. It's a choice scarf. Um, good struggle bug. Not too bad. Lower special attack. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Let's do that. He can have speed. He can have speed. He's gonna guard. Okay, cool. Just guard. Good thing we did actually go after the ground. We should outspeed the ground on, don't we? We should outspeed the ground on. Which would definitely be lovely. We do outspeed the ground on. So we're gonna say bye bye to ground on. Ground on's definitely dead to this, even though it is coverage, it's still dead, right? Get them on out of here. Beautiful turn for us. We changed up the weather too, so everyone's gonna take buffets, but it's all good. We have struggle bug rolling. I'm just hoping Galvantula can outspeed Yvelto so we can get that minus one drop. But not bad plays for us, yo. Read it max guards, dude. We're playing really good right now. We're just on the board with this team. We're on the board with this team. I would have loved to uh, Volt Switch. I think Volt Switch probably would have been a play. The choice into that. It just works well. He's probably going to bring out Incineroar, right? Or are you going to bring out Bronzong? That's a real question. I mean, it's Incineroar and Bronzong, which I should be fine with. I'm actually glad he brought out Bronzong. Bronzong's going to come out here. I'm going to actually uh, switch Hailstorm in that. Or what do I do? I could Starfall. I could actually just Geyser. Get off as much damage as I can on you. And then Struggle Bug across the board. I'm with that. I'm with it. He might pop a Trick Room, but I doubt it. Would Trick Room really benefit him? Not really. Actually, it probably would because Incineroar would be slower than, uh, would be slower than, uh, Solgaleo. That's our only back-end Pokemon, so not a bad battle right now. Not a bad battle. Guy Vancher, go first. You're gonna end up protecting you. Wow, what a smart protect. Solid little protect from him. Uh, we are still gonna be able to outspeed, and we're gonna drop a nice little Struggle Bug and lower the special attack on today. You belt all. I like that turn. I don't mind it. Struggle Bug. Struggle Bug. Let's get it, dude. Good old Galvantula. Doing work. Airstream's gonna fly through here, and he going after my Galvantula. And my Galvantula eats. We love it. My Galvantula eats. That's big. But the best part about this is that, uh, what's it called? That we set rain here. We set rain. And I don't think, I don't think Yvelta or Bronzon can take out my, uh, I don't think Galvantula or, or not Galvantula, I don't think Yvelta or Bronzon can take out my Azumarill. The fact is, we have an Assault Vest on top of this. So, like, special attacking ain't gonna do much. It ain't doing much. This thing does have leftovers. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do up against that thing. I think it's kind of annoying. I think it's kind of annoying up against a lot of my Pokemon. I could just go into Liquidation here. So I'm thinking of doing. Yeah, I'm thinking just Liquidation down because I feel like Azumarill. Is, is, is that guy, right? Azumarill is that guy who's going to be able to take out Bronzong. Uh, we are just going to keep struggle bugging because we are choosing to that. But hopefully Galvantula can outspeed Yvelta one more time. It's plus two. Yvelta's plus two, but Galvantula? Choice squad. This, this little bug cooks. This is a fast bug, and it's like 179 speed. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right, let's see how this one plays. Make a move, my guy. He's going to end up withdrawing you. Wow, I thought it was going to be Yvelta. Smart play, but there goes your Incineroar, right? Your Incineroar's dead all day. Even even with that Intimidate. We're in the rain. We're dead all day. You are dead all day. He's going to end up Snarling. Wow. It snarl, it takes out Guy Vangel. So that was a smart Snarl, but it doesn't really do much. That's the problem. That's the problem. It doesn't really do much. We are minus one on, on attack, but the rain boost is just going to be too much. So see you later, Incineroar. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Okay, now at this point, Sogaleo comes out here. I could protect him and get rid of the uh, Yveltal, which might have to be my play. I do not want to take any damage from him. Oh, I do not have protect. It does hurt soul. It does hurt soul. But how should we play this one? How should Jeans go into this? Definitely Liquidation's on the board. Definitely Liquidation's on the board. I think we're just going to Liquidation and then... Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. How many turns left in rain? I mean, is it three? Three turns left. Three. That's plenty. That's plenty of rain time. So this thing could protect, but I think he's gonna go after Solgale. I'm gonna go after him, and then Sunshine Strike or Wild Charge will probably do the most damage on Bronzong. I should double down on Yveltal, but I don't think I just don't think Yveltal can uh, actually kill me. I don't think Yveltal can kill my uh, my Zoomerel, right? Let's see what he does. Goes for here, Oblivion Wing. It's not gonna do a lot of damage. You're not gonna get off, off back enough HP. That crit. Don't you dare tell me that crit. 
Oh my god. Oh my get out of here. This bro, dude, I can't. I can't do it. I cannot do it. This guy's got the luckiest crit that just saved him the game. We should be 2-0. Oh. We should be 2-0. Oh. That is a minus two or one? I don't even know. I don't even know. We'll, we'll actually check. We will actually check. We'll actually check. It, don't, it doesn't even matter. He's he's minus on special attack, and I have an assault vest. I was soaking that shot up all day. Let me, let me come here. Let me see your stats. He's minus one, and I had an assault vest. That is just ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. I'm gonna go after you, and I don't know how I can possibly win this game. It's for foul play, we do a lot of damage. Yeah, did plenty of damage. Wow, we really lost to a critical hit. Cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. That last battle right there was good old-fashioned Pokemon battles. I cannot believe I outplayed my opponent that well and lost to a critical hit. Like, come on, yo. Get out of my face with that. Get out of my face with that. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's look for a winning record. We're going up against another Yvelta team with Solgaleo, Mamoswine, Rotom Heat, and then he's got Whimsicott and... Who is that? Rillaboom. Okay, so he might lead the Whimsicott, so we might want to just pop a trick him right off the rip. But I got to watch out for uh, his Yveltal. His Yveltal can definitely do work. He can definitely do work. But uh, who should I go into here? I could go Caldex, but dude, Yveltal does work up against both of my uh, physical attackers. Both, or not my physical attackers, both my restricted mods. So I'm thinking of just going Gallade and popping Trick Room. And then Azumarill. If I get off Trick Room and Azumarill is just chilling in Trick Room, it could be a pretty solid turn. And then bring Solgaleo and Calyx in the back end. I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging that. Go looking for Trick Room turn one. Because I would go into Solgaleo to pop Trick Room. But the thing is, like, if he leads Yvelta, we're just going to get one tap. No problem whatsoever. So we're going to go in with this. And we're going to see how we can do with it. But this one's looking tough for us. I'm not going to lie. Yvelta just does so much work. But we outplayed him last game and he gets a crit. He was gone. He was gone after that. My Zoomerol is going next. We're just going to slap up on him. No problem. Would have been GG's. It would have been GG's. Because then it would have turned into a 2v1 on the console. So he ends up leading Wimscott alongside with the uh, Yveltal. I'm totally cool with that. He's probably going to pop a Tailwind. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to pop a Trick Room. And I'm still going to Dynamax his Zoomerol. I think I'm still going to Dynamax his Zoomerol here. Wait, Trick Room come out here. Trick Room. And then I could coach it up if I wanted to. But uh, from here, I could just actually take out the Whimscott, which I might do. Do I get rid of the Whimscott, or do I get start going after the Yvelta? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start getting after this uh, Whimscott. It's a lovely Whimscott, because even if it's Sash at this point, the uh, Buffets will take it out. So that's a solid little hailstorm for us. Let's see what he does. He's got a Tailwind, right? I think he Tailwind Dynamaxes. That's just what I think he's going to do. And no, he's not Dynamaxing. He's not maxing and relaxing. But I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm Dynamaxing right here, right now. Good. Withdraw your, your belt, though. Withdraw that Pokemon. We're getting this big old rabbit up in here. He's not expecting Trick. There's no way he's expecting Trick with a Glade. Like, so I do think Tailwind's coming out regardless. Right? Tailwind. He protects your belt. Oh, dude, we love this turn. This is a great turn from us. It's a great turn from us. You Tailwinding? Oh my god. This turn is incredible for us. Dude, we are playing so good today. This is like the most perfect turn ever. We hailstorm into this Pokemon. He protects the Yveltal. And we pop a Trick Room. And he pops a Tailwind on top of that. So we're going to say bye-bye to Whimsy. And he's probably sitting there like, hey, at least I got off Tailwind. Whimscott did his job. Nah, yo. Whimscott did nothing. Whimscott did nothing because we are countering this Tailwind with this Trick Room. What a play by us. What a play by us, dude. Like, people just don't expect the Trick Room from Gilead. They just don't expect it. That's a huge, that's a huge turn for us. Great turn for us. So Whimscott off the field. We have Trick Room out and about. I could start coaching up my uh, Azumarill if I wanted to. Well, it depends what he goes into. It really depends. He might actually go into Solgaleo at this point. He might come flying out here. And it is. And dude, that's such a... Like, that, that shiny right there is incredible. All red. It's looking gorgeous. Uh, At this point, uh, yeah, let's just coach up. Let's just coach up and just go for a Starfall. Because I'm not dealing with that Pokemon. I have two restricted mods that just gets dumped on by that Pokemon. So I gotta get rid of him. I have to get rid of him. And then uh, Glade, obviously, is gonna go. I asked the word. No, he's gonna go after Azumarill. So coaching will benefit us. Next. Nice little defense boost, attack boost at the same time. But yeah, he's gonna Dynamax the Lion. We're gonna get after Shibalt. Oh, we shouldn't roll from there, right? Right, Lion's getting a Dynamax. 
Big old red lion, dude. That's shiny. Now that's a that's the definition of like a real shiny. Totally different colors, out of the ordinary, just crazy. And he Dynamaxes your belt on. Wow. We Dynamaxes this Pokemon. That's a little. I, I did not see that coming. I expected the last turn to be Dynamax. I really did. But Azumarill has a uh, Soul Fest. So that's really good. So we're gonna end up dropping a nice little Starfall here. It's not gonna be able to take him out, but it's gonna do nice damage, right? Yeah. Almost takes him out. It almost takes him out. I'll probably Shadow Sneak could take him out next turn. With the buffets on top of that. I like that a lot. We like that a lot. Weakness policy is procked. That is scary. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. Let's see how this one plays. We're gonna get that defense boost. I'm loving it. Let's see what he goes into. The trick room turns are just nice for us. We'd love it. We go for a wild charge. Hey yo, leave me alone. Are you double don't double down to zoom rail? Go after my Galade. Go after my Galade, you both all. Go after my Galade. He's gonna pop an airstream, and I think that goes after Galade. Right, takes him out. Now you go after Zoom Rail. And Zoom Rail so chill. The assault best. The assault best is just huge. That's solid. That's a solid turn for us. It's actually a really good turn for us. Zoom Rail's gonna get Buffett. Blade's gonna get Buffett. I think everybody but Soul Gallery gets Buffett, right? I oh, know. Everybody gets Buffett. My fault. My fault. That's gonna poke out here. And I wonder if a Shadow Sneak could take out. I'm gonna go for it. Ah, dude, it's not gonna take out. We know that for a fact. Uh. Still gotta go for it, right? Still gotta go for it. And I don't want to change up weather. Do not want to change up weather. The reason I don't want to change up weather is because uh, the buff that you're going to do keep doing chip damage. It's uh, Yveltal. Yveltal might guard here. It does. Look at that. I'm cool with that. I'm so cool with that. I'm so cool with that. I'm so cool with that because the buffets are just going to keep chipping them up. Max Wake's going to fly through here. We're going to get a special defense boost and we should say bye bye to Soul right? Beautiful. Because we're coached up. We're plus one on attack and we're plus one on defense too. Get them on out of here, yo. What a battle from us, dude. We are this team right here. We are just playing so well with this team. I feel like off meta teams, I really want strong with. And I just always play. I don't even know why. I just play a little bit better than I do when I play with meta teams. I just feel like I have to think more and uh, use different stuff a little bit more. But Buffets are going to keep flying. They're chipping up damage. I still don't think Shadow Seek can take out. Because A, Shadow Seek's not stab. It is not very effective on the Yvelta. And it's a low base damage. Rate, so, it'd be like that. He's going to roll right into this Pokemon. And from here, uh, I guess I just go into a Liquidation, right? I guess I just go into Liquidation and try to get rid of uh, this thing. I guess that's our play. Because we can't protect the... We cannot protect the... Azumarill, but Azumarill is definitely going to go out here. Unless Shadow Sneak kills. It does not. I didn't think it would. I did not think it would. Oh, Azumarill just goes next. Oh, that's totally fine. That's GG's. See you later. Get this thing out of here. Get this low time heat out of my game. We are ripping. We are ripping. That, that's game set match. Game set match. Max Dark is going to fly through here. We still have another turn of Buffets. That, he's going in for my Kalade with that. Dude, he's leaving my, my Azumarill. Azumarill is just killing it. He's just killing it. And yeah, it's over with. It is over with. Because I can bring out Solgaleo. I can bring out my Focus Ash on my, uh... My what's called Or Buffets can do it. No, he's on one. There's a soul. But I'm just going to bring out the Focus Ash Calyrex. That's GG's. We're guaranteed to turn to hitting. This guy's probably just going to cancel the battle. But, yo, what a set of battles. We're going to go 2-1 for today's video. And just completely dominate everything. Had some fun with it today. Played with some cool Pokemon. Made some great plays. We were just playing great all around. 2-1, but should have been 3-0, dude. That crit in the last one. Come on, yo. Get out of here. Get out of here. Dude gets a crit. It just, it, that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. This guy's on one. I'm going to kill him with a pollen puff because it would be a lot cooler. And actually, you, you're you going to go. Azumarill's going to go first, but he's going to cancel battle, right? Just not cancel battle. Azumarill goes in first and just tees off. Dude, this Azumarill is incredible. I love it so much, especially with the speed swap and the trick room. You just have so many different options of giving this thing speed control. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A Complete dominating performance from your boy jeans in today's video i just think i just feel like we played super well made some great reads we're calling the protects calling the swaps everything about it we were just rolling out strong with but this team is incredible huge shout out to my man josh for making this team i love everything about it you got the Gallade with the support set to pair up with the soul galio and the azumaro we got to showcase it with and then you got that galvantula rocking out with that choice scarf and just using it on the rank line definitely fun but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend some positivity today i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody